Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP New Syntax and in the previous video, we started with CONV operator. We understood the purpose of CONV operator. Now what I will do into this video, firstly I will show you if we don't know the CONV keyword, how we are doing the typecasting how we are passing the values to the function module or class methods parameters. Then I will show you with the help of COND. So firstly, what I will do, I will go for a program. I will create a program. So I will go for SC38 transaction code and I will create a program. So what is the purpose of this particular program? This program is used to upload the employee data into SAP. Suppose I have a file on the presentation server. You all know your desktop is, is your desktop is called as presentation server. Suppose you have a file on the presentation server. How you will upload that file into the SAP? At that time, I will use GUI upload function module and I will show you how we are resolving the errors previously, how we are resolving the runtime errors previously, then how we can resolve the runtime error using COMP operator. So what I will do, I will create a program. Suppose my name of the program is ZPRG new syntax, suppose I will write C-O-N-B. I will go for create. Now I will give the title to the program. Suppose I will write demo on C-O-N-B operator. I will choose the type as executable program and I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. And I will activate the program. So what will be the input to the program? Input to the program will be the file because we want to upload that file into the SAP system and we will go for single file. You all know whenever you are going for single input, you are always going for parameters. So I will go for parameters. Suppose my name of the parameter is P underscore file. I will go for type. And now I'm using a SAP predefined data element. You can see name is not starting with Z or Y. It means it is a SAP predefined data element. If I will double click and show you, this data element has a domain of character 128. It means P underscore file is of character type. It has a length of 128. I will activate. Now I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements. I will go for selection text. I will choose DDIC reference. And this file name is coming from the data element. If you can double click and see this data element, if I will go for field label, we are able to see file name. So this file name is coming from the data element. If I will run, you can see our input is ready. So what we will do now, we will go for F4 button here. Whenever user will click onto that F4 button, we will show our desktop, we'll show the presentation server, and user will simply pick the file from the presentation server. Now, you all know, whenever you are performing some action on the screen, whenever you are performing some action on the screen, which event is calling at selection screen? If you do not have knowledge of events, no problem. You can simply refer the ABAP programming part two playlist. There we fully explained the classical report events. 
Now, whenever you will click onto the F4 button here, whenever we are performing some action on the screen, we all know which event is triggering at selection screen. And on the selection screen, we will go for F4. We will go for F4. You all know whenever you have F4, it is called as value request, value request. Suppose I will go for writing the logic. Anyways, this part is already available in data migration technique also. It is already available in file handling also. So many places I explained this thing because I saw so many participants, they are directly referring the new syntaxes. So we need to cover each and everything. So that comparison will be very easy. So I'm writing add selection screen on value request for p underscore five. So on the selection screen, we are going for value request for which particular parameter p underscore five. Whenever I will show you, you will automatically understand. If I will run, you can see previously the F4 button was not there. When I have written on value request, that's why this F4 button is here. So whenever you will click on to this F4 button, F4 button, which event will call add selection screen on value request. And we have specified the parameter. What is the name of the parameter? P underscore file. Are you clicking on to F4 of P underscore file? Yes, we are doing that. So this particular event will trigger. Now, now how to show the desktop or how to show the presentation server? We have a dedicated function module. I will simply, simply use that. I will go to pattern. SAP provide a dedicated function module. What is the name of the function module? F4 underscore file name. I will simply, simply go for OK. I will uncomment the exporting parameter. I will uncomment the importing parameters. And now into this, what is the name of your parameter for the file? P underscore file. So into this parameter, we will completely get the path of the file. We'll get the file name. Suppose I will check the syntax and I will go for activation. Now what I will do, I will prepare a file first and I will show you up to this level. Suppose on the desktop, I'm preparing a file. Suppose I will go for Excel. Because if you will directly go for notepad, some people will do mistake. So I will go for Excel. Suppose we have two columns in the file, employee ID, employee name. So I will go for employee ID one, suppose name Ra. Suppose I will go for employee ID two, suppose name I will go for Abhishek. Suppose I will go for employee ID three, name suppose save. Suppose I will go for employee ID 4, suppose name Shirali. Suppose I will go for employee ID 5, name Akaksha. So I put the five records. Now you can simply copy and paste into Notepad. So have you seen the separator between the columns is automatically there? You can directly prepare Notepad also. It's totally your wish. But whenever you are preparing in Notepad, you have to put tab. Because you all know in Excel, tab is already there between the commas, between the columns, sorry. Suppose if I will go for another employee ID, I need to put tab. Then I can put the name, whatever I want to give. Suppose I will give path. So it is totally your wish how you want to prepare the file. I will save this file. I will save this file onto the desktop. Suppose I will write employee date. Now I will show you up to this level, how it is working. Just to show you up to this level, suppose I'm writing a write statement. I will remove this. 
Now I will put a breakpoint and show you. I'm putting a breakpoint as a part of add selection screen on value request event. Now, whenever I will click here, which event will call add selection screen on value request. The value request means what? F for help. So I will simply click and you can see system entered into that debugging queue. I will go for desktop three, most preferable desktop. Is taking time to enter into debugging. I'll just wait. So add selection screen on value request event called. Okay, system entered into debugging mode. Now I will simply simply execute this. Whenever I will execute system will show me the my desktop presentation server suppose i am doing f6 you can see i got the presentation server okay it will open you can see i got my desktop or presentation server i will go to desktop this is our file employee data i will go for open and you can see into this parameter I got the complete path of the file, complete file name. You can see in C drive, Rahul desktop, I saved this file employee data. So this is the way how we are getting the complete file. Now, what is our next task? This is our complete file name, complete path of the file. We need to read the data which is available at this particular path. Now we have a function module GUI underscore upload, which is used to read the data from a file which is available on the presentation server. If you do not have knowledge of these things, you can refer the playlist of file handling. We have a dedicated playlist for file handling. So what I will do now we have the path of the file. We have full name of the file. Whenever I will click on to this execute button, you all know which event will trigger start of selection. So now I will go for start of selection. I will remove this right one now. Now I will go for start of selection. Now I will call the function module. I will go to pattern button. And I will call the function module GUI underscore upload. I will go for enter. Now I will pass the file name. In which parameter you have the file name? P underscore file. Now I will uncomment this parameter. Has field separator? Yes. What is the separator between the files? Tab, tab. So you can simply double click on to this function module and check. If I will go for has field separator, I will go for import has field separator. You can see comma separated by tabs, tabs. Now, if you want to enable that tab, you need to put the value capital X. You all know X means true, space means false. We have a separator between the columns. Yes, we have a separator between the columns. But the separator tab is the separator. So I will simply, simply go for X. So tab is the separator. Now we have passed the file name. We have passed the separator. Now it will return the data. Now you all know our data will come into the internal table. I will declare this internal table. Best practices always uncomment the exceptions. So I will declare this internal table. So firstly, I will create a structure type of how many column? Two columns because our file has two column only employee ID, employee name, begin of. LTY underscore data. 
सपोज एम्प्लॉय आई डी न्यू मैरिक टू सपोज एम्प्लॉय नेम न्यू मैरिक टेन दीज आर एस सी पी प्री डिफाइंड डेटा एलिमेंट्स विच आर यूज एंड ऑफ एल डी वाई अंडर स्कोर डेटा नाउ आई विल डिक्लेयर द इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया डेटा एल टी अंडर स्कोर डेटा टाइप टेबल ऑफ एल टी वाई अंडर स्कोर डेटा एंड नाउ आई विल गो फॉर वर्क एरिया I will check the syntax, and I will activate up to this leg. This numc two and numc ten are S C P. Okay, employee name. I should not take numc. I should take character. I'll go for character form because I'll go for alphabet sys. So you can see numc two is a S C P predefined data element. Which has a domain of numeric two and character forty. It is a SAP predefined data element which has a domain of character forty. So, what is the summary of this particular video up to this level? To show you how we are previously avoiding the runtime error, how we are doing the type casting previously, we took the requirement in which. we will upload the file which is on my desktop or you can say presentation server so i took a parameter for the file and i took it as a sap predefined data element which has a domain of character 128 so p underscore file is character 128 now you want to upload the file so what we will do whenever user will click here i will go for a f4 button whenever user will click on to that f4 button we will show that desktop or we will show the presentation server and user will choose the file you all know whenever you are performing some action on the selection screen or input screen this is your selection screen or input screen which event will call at selection screen on value request because f4 is your value request and we specified the field name also p underscore file so whenever i will click here add selection screen on value request for p underscore file will trigger i used sap function module this function module returned the path of the file now we need to read the data which is available at that particular path so whenever you will click on to this button which event will trigger start of selection so we called gui upload function module this function module will read the data from the file which is available on presentation server or you can say desktop we pass the file name we enable this we pass the value to this parameter as true because our file is separated by tab and our data will come into this internal table we declare the structure type internal table and work area in the next video firstly we will see are we getting a runtime error how we will go for type casting then we will go for conv operator so that's it in this particular video thank you